we, I have no idea how much work, and I still probably don't understand how much work there is to be done. The legacy of the chateau and this remarkable set of craftsmen that were working on all of the corners of the chateau. So much inspiration from all of the buildings like Versailles. You can start looking at some of these styles. It's a kind of a wonderful throwback to the kind of 1780s, but it's a, a, a new interpretation of this. We want to use as many original French craftsmen as possible. It would be incredibly exciting to be able to see if the ateliers are still going and still producing this kind of work, and if they have the designs that they were commissioned to make for here. The ormolu staircase, the fireplaces, the ceiling work and designs, the hand-blocked wallpapers. It's just taking every single step gently at a time, one room after another and conquer the space. It's almost rather like an expedition. If we try to do the entire thing at once, we'd start kind of crying quite quickly. It has an incredible history from about 1900s straight through into 1945. The family, the De Savories, also owned the Bon Marché in Paris. The German forces have been here. There's this incredible connection to Eisenhower used this as his operational headquarters. That history as you start digging down and it unfolds is remarkable. I always look at it and think this is a kind of building held together with dreams. <laughs>